Now, police chiefs uh, from Macedonia, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia and uh, Austria agreed on Thursday to introduce a joint registration uh, of refugees crossing from Greece into Macedonia. They will also organize their transport uh, from the border straight to Austria. The process will identify and take biometric data from the migrants and determine whether they come from countries deemed dangerous, such as Syria, Iraq or Afghanistan. It will not grant them status as asylum seekers, a step that will take place in Austria or other countries they might travel to. Our goal is to make the transport of migrants from Greece and Macedonia towards Austria as painless as possible and to avoid the turning back of refugees, which is happening now, because each country profiled incoming migrants on its own. Well, for more on these developments, we're now joined live from Brussels by CCTV's Jack Barton. Jack, certainly a very positive development for refugees, but perhaps just explain how this new proposal will help migrants fleeing a conflict from the Middle East and Africa and the impact it will have in easing this refugee crisis. Well, it is good news for genuine asylum seekers because the way it's been working now is most are coming via Turkey, entering Greece, and then heading through what is known as the Balkan route, mostly on their way to Germany or Sweden. And that going along that Balkan route has usually involved employing human traffickers. Uh, it's very dangerous. It's a laborious crossing. It's mostly made on foot along railway tracks, along highways. Many people now being turned back. So what this means is a more orderly approach will be taken. The people won't actually have their asylum processed on the Greek-Macedonian border, but those five countries will work jointly to do basic processing so that they can then be moved in an orderly manner onto Austria. But Austria has capped the number of people that it will accept each day at 3,200. And of course, that is well below the figures we've seen crossing that border uh, since last year. Often we've seen more than 10,000 people a day. The fundamental idea here, though, from the European perspective, is border control. These countries have also asked Albania and Bulgaria to join in in the joint policing. And the idea is to bring some control back to that border so genuine asylum seekers can pass through. But those deemed to be economic migrants or perhaps uh, potentially terrorists who are masking themselves as asylum seekers can be stopped at the border. So they're very much trying to send a message here that for economic migrants or terrorists, the borders are closed. That is at the end of the day, the real purpose of this exercise. And we understand, of course, that uh, people coming from countries like Syria will be those that will be uh, impacted the most uh, by this new policy. But, Jack, any particular focus on migrants coming from Africa? At, at this meeting uh, that we've got at the Leader Summit at the moment, no, it's a broad meeting and in fact the initial part of the migrant meeting was derailed because on Thursday we were supposed to have a big meeting with all the leaders, uh, the leaders from some of those Balkan countries not in the EU and Turkey's Prime Minister. But that meeting was called off at the last minute after those attacks in Turkey that killed almost 30 people. Turkish Prime Minister, of course, heading back to Ankara to deal with the, uh, the response to that crisis. There are more talks today, but we're really not expecting anything new. What we are expecting is for the leaders to consolidate what's already been agreed to, and that is the establishment of the hotspots in Greece to deal with uh, asylum seekers mostly coming from uh, the Middle East, but also in Italy to deal with uh, migrants and asylum seekers coming in from Africa. There's also going to be more talk about implementing border control measures already agreed and of course the relocation scheme that's been agreed to but the numbers that have been agreed to really aren't even a tenth of the number of people that have crossed since the start of last year. Some leaders are pushing for that scheme to be expanded but German Chancellor Angela Merkel has said you know considered that only a few hundred people have been resettled under last year's scheme uh, expanding it the idea is laughable. So we're really not expecting any big breakthroughs today. Leaders really still still trying to get to grips with the foundations of dealing with this refugee crisis. I suppose we really are inching towards progress. CCTV's Jack Barton live for us there in Brussels. Thank you very much.